Okay. That was the end of the last track on the new Journey album, Freedom, out today, July 8th, 2022. And minimizing things there. This is Rob with Media Awareness, and I wanted to give you guys my first reaction. As far as an actual listen, I, I started listening to the album earlier today, and um, I had some other projects to do, so I um, went back to it, started it fresh um, a short time ago, listened to it from beginning to end, it is now 11.49 on July uh, 8th. 2022 and um, first thoughts on the album as a whole it is a spectacular album I highly recommend it there's a couple songs that are weaker than others with that stated though there are a lot of songs on here and it may just be journey overload I, I i think um in a lot of cases because there's so much material on this album and we haven't had any new material since 2011 with um the album eclipse so it's um well last year we had the the single uh the way we used to be but um Aside from that, we haven't had any new journey until these new uh, these new songs started getting uh, released from the band here and there periodically, leading up to today. And uh, I'm impressed. It, it's it's a good album. It's it's kind of uh, it's kind of all over the place. Um, stylistically which is a good thing yeah, they really are embracing all aspects of journey from the progressive roots to modern day journey if you have the chance um don't just stream this album buy it journey freedom is worth having it is a great addition to anyone's collection, assuming that you're into melodic rock, melodic AOR style rock. Um, if not, well, it's not your thing. <laughs> and if not, you're probably not watching this video. So, I don't even know why I just said that. But have a good night, everyone, and be sure to uh, check out other content on my channel. Journey Retrospective Part 4 coming soon. Have a good night. Bye.